night Saravandi was killed, I was working a divorce job, taking pictures of a cheating husband. Gente de policía de la ciudad de Nueva York ha sido baleada. Who joined the NYPD this past January? She expected her to quit the police academy long before earning her badge and gun, but she graduated this past June and was assigned to a training unit in Brooklyn's 72nd precinct. Sarah Vandy is the second New York City police officer killed in the line of duty this year. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Mom says thanks too. Did you hear about what happened to Sarah Vandy? Yeah. Guess I was wrong. Brass did let her go out on patrol. I thought for sure they'd keep her home. Yeah, well, I guess they thought it wouldn't look good. I remember how much you used to love that show of hers. Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah, sure. Why? Just asking. You seem kind of quiet. Oh, uh, I'm just stressed. Quarter exams are coming up, so... You'll do fine. What happened to your charm bracelet? I thought you never took that thing off. Um, the, the clasp is loose, so... I gotta get it fixed. All right. Watch your fingers. Sorry for making you wait. Bye, Dad. Michaela Vandy called me the very next morning. Hello. 
this Kevin Ramsey? This is him. Mr. Ramsey, this is Michaela Vandy. You may have heard of me. My sister Sarah and I we used to be actresses. We started on a TV show called Family Jewels. My sister became a cop recently. Yes, Miss Vandy, I have heard of you. Have you heard about what happened to Sarah? Yes, I am so sorry for your loss. I want to hire you to investigate her murder. I'm sure the NYPD will do a very thorough job. What do you need me for? I'll explain when we meet. Let's cut to the chase. Why me? Why not some big investigative firm? Because you used to be a cop. And you're not afraid to piss off other cops. When can we meet? This afternoon, if you like. This afternoon is fine. I live at... No, wait. Uh, we can't meet this afternoon. How about this evening? About 9 o'clock? Great. I live in the Hayes Tower, apartment 303. Are you sure you're up to this? I'll be fine. Listen, I know your history. Just a little heads up. There's a whole lot of cops standing around in front of the building. You know, because of Sarah. Just thought I'd tell you. Not a problem. I'll be there. Were my suspicions correct? Is he cheating on me? Yes, he is. I knew it. Did you get proof? I did. Shall we? Everything's been uploaded to the drive. Password protected. Let's go inside. It's not. Why not? What's the problem? You're a client now, Chloe. I don't let clients in my place. Just because I hired you to get tickets on my husband and you're not friends anymore? I'm cutting back on friends. What's that supposed to mean? It means I want to keep this professional. Professional in my eyes. Come on. None of the cops standing outside of Michaela's building even bothered with me. The doorman, however, Yeah, I have an appointment with Michaela Vandy. Name? Kevin Ramsey. Yes? Miss Vandy. It's Carlos downstairs. Hi, Carlos. Uh, there's a man here named Kevin Ramsey. He says he has an appointment to see you. Okay. You can go upstairs. 
Department 303. Thanks. Mr. Ramsey? Yes? Come in. Michaela, he's here for you. Hello, Mr. Ramsey. Miss Van. Have a seat. Give me a shout if you need me for anything, Michaela. I will. Thanks, Lucy. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. Who is that? Lucy Gerritsen, my personal assistant. I'm sorry, I should have introduced you. Not at all. Where was she the night of? She was here with me all night. Still have a personal assistant. Thought you gave up the celebrity lifestyle like your sister. My fame lingers on, and I still need some help managing it sometimes. Have you read about my sister in the tabloids or gossip columns, Mr. Ramsey? You know about her relationships? I've read a few things. Well, there were some relationships the tabloids never found out about. Relationships that I think may have led to her murder. I have to be honest, Miss Vandy. I doubt your sister's personal life had anything to do with her murder. This to me looks like an obsessed fan or a cop hater. Most likely the latter. Why do you say that? Well, because all the anger over the police shooting three weeks ago, the one where the unarmed boy was killed, I think your sister might have been murdered in retaliation for that. I don't think so. But whatever the truth is, I want you to find it before the NYPD does. Why? So that if I have to, I can figure out a way to keep it quiet. Or at least say something in Sarah's defense. I might have to lock horns with some cops. Maybe even some high-ranking ones. And as you may know, I am not exactly the NYPD's favorite person. I know. I read about you in the newspapers back when you testified against your ex-partner for beating his wife. I know most cops think you're a rat. Hiring me could cause problems for you. Are you sure you want to? Absolutely. All right, then. I'm hired. My fee. Whatever it is, Mr. Ramsey, I'll pay it. Just find this person before the cops do. Okay, then. Why don't we get started? Why don't you tell me about those relationships you mentioned? Well, First, there was your bodyguard, Corey, Ray Stanford. I thought I read somewhere you both shared a bodyguard, a big Russian guy named Mishka. We did. But when Sarah turned 18, she got her own place and hired her own guy, Corey. Hi. Kept Mishka on for a while, but when I gave up acting, I let him go. Why do you suspect this Corey? When Sarah gave him the boot as her bodyguard, he took it hard. And she gave him the boot, why? She gave up when her aunt dropped the boot, when she decided to join the police department. She wanted to live a cop's life. Cops don't have bodyguards and publicists and personal assistants. So what do he do? Well, nothing too serious. He just kept calling her and calling her, asking her to reconsider for friendship's sake. But, uh, look, she paid him well. So maybe it was the money he missed. Then again, maybe he missed her too. They had a fling once. How do you know? Sarah told me. Do you have any info on him? Mm. Phone number, address, anything like that? No, but I know he works as a bouncer now at this bar on the west side, a place called Harry's. Okay. Him on the photo. May I? Do you know if this Corey owns a gun? Yeah. 
He does. His license, though. He's got a New York State Armed Security Guard license. Who else? Her last celebrity boyfriend, Brandon Sims. The owner of Excalibur. Ah, uh, the nightclub that got raided a few months back. The cops shut him down. Back when they hooked up, Brandon wasn't just her boyfriend. He was also her drug dealer. He provided her with all her coke. And when Sarah decided it was her grand destiny to be a cop instead of an actress, she stopped using and severed ties with him completely. Let me guess, he wasn't too happy about losing his favorite customer? No, he definitely wasn't. And when the narco squad raided his club, he blamed her. He was convinced that Sarah ratted him out to get in good with the department brass. He swore he'd get back at her one day. She told you this? Yeah. Do you have any information on him? Uh, a phone number, an email, address, anything? No, no. I'm sure you could find him at Excalibur's. He's reopening it as a family-friendly restaurant this time. I guess to polish up his image. Do you know if he owns a gun? No idea. Anyone else? Sarah told me she slept with someone in one of the recruits in her police academy company. She wouldn't tell me his name or anything about him. Do I assume correctly she dumped him as well? Yeah. And that guy definitely owns a gun. Who else? That's it. At least that's it for the people I suspect. Okay, these, these three will get me started. Did your sister ever tell you why she decided to become a cop? She said it was because she wanted to be able to arrest people. She said if anyone ever messed with her again, she wanted to be able to lock them up. Who messed with her? She wouldn't tell me. Look, maybe I'm wrong, but I think somebody molested her something when she was a kid. I think that's why she became so wild so young, not, not because of the fame. A lot of sexual abuse victims react that way. You're right. They do. I got enough to start. If you can think of anything else, just give me a call, okay? Shut myself out. Good night. Lucy. Is he gone? Yeah. Look, uh, you don't have to stay tonight. I'll be okay. Of course I do. No. Really, I'll be fine. Could you just make me a cup of tea before you go, please? Sure. be another Jaheed Jensen. When we finish with the racist, fascist cops in this city, they're going to step back when they see a black youth. They will step the hell back. As I was leaving the building, your boss, Chief Loomis, decides he wants to bust my balls. See you later. 
What the hell are you doing here, Ramsey? No, wait, don't tell me. Some cop-hating scumbag hired you to prove that this department is somehow responsible for Officer Vandy's death, right? Even if that were the case, you know I can't say anything. So why ask? Listen, Ramsey, I'm gonna make this simple for you, okay? If I catch you sticking your nose into this investigation, I'm gonna lock you up for obstructing government administration and everything else I can think of. So just butt out. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Hi. My name is Mason, and I'm a sex addict. Hi, Hi Mason. Mason. You all know my story, but we got a new face here tonight, so I'm going to tell it again. My addiction started shortly after my daughter was born. And now, looking back, I think I needed to prove to myself that I was still the stud I always thought I was. I think of myself as a father, a husband, a man with a family that depended on him. Yeah. See, I still have to be the stud. So I turned to sex to build myself up. First, it was internet porn. I'd watch it hours a minute, jerking off to images on the web instead of getting it on with my wife. Then it was one night stands. Having sex with women who were willing to do it with a guy they didn't give a shit about. Just as I didn't give a shit about women who are probably addicts like me. And finally, prostitutes. I'd solicit them on the web and meet them in motels. And my wife getting pregnant again didn't slow me a bit. I just kept going. I was a, I was a, having sex with a prostitute when my wife lost our baby. She miscarried while I was in a filthy motel room with a woman I, I stand to look at it. I still wanted to scream. And that was the bottom for me. And that's when I turned to Sex Addicts Anonymous. But since then, I've got my addiction under control. I still stumble now and then on not selling it for Christ's sakes. But the difference is I don't live for it anymore. I live for other things. And I take it one day at a time. Just like they say. Thank you. Thanks, Mason. Is there anyone else who would like to speak? Well, in that case, please join me in the closing prayer. God, God grant me the serenity, serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And the wisdom.
What do you think? I don't think I can ever get up in front of a group of people and talk about myself like that. <laughs> you know, I used to feel the same way. But as you can't see, I got it for it. Let me surprise you, sir. I doubt it. I gotta be honest, sometimes I, I wonder why I even looked into this. We screwed around so much more in college, you know what I mean? You tell me. Look, it's the same thing as we're drinking. If you think you have a problem, you have a problem. I guess. So you gonna join us again next week? I'll think about it. <laughs> Despite Michaela's suspicions, I was convinced Sarah's murder was an anti-cop assassination. But in order to investigate that angle, I needed help. And the only person that could help me was Mason Rivers. Would it be against SAA rules to work with someone you're hoping to sponsor? Not at all. Good. I'm working a high-profile case, and I might have to reach out to one of the more militant members of the black community. High-profile, huh? I don't suppose I can get any details. Tomorrow. Let me talk to my client first. Swing by your place, say, nine? Yeah, fine with me. Thank you. Michaela, it's Ramsey. Listen, I gotta bring a buddy in on the job. Uh, he's a licensed PI, just like me. Same rules of confidentiality apply. As long as you think it's necessary. It's definitely necessary. Look, I'll call you as soon as I've got something, all right? Thank you. Good night. Thanks. What's this job you told me about? I've been hired to investigate Sarah Vandy's murder. You're kidding? Nope. By who, her sister? Yeah. So Michaela Vandy hired you to look into her sister's death? I guess she's worried about what the homicide detectives are gonna find out. Exactly. Now she suspects some of her sister's former associates. To me, this reads like a payback killing. Payback for the Jaheed Jensen shooting. So before I start questioning anyone, I'd like to interview the Reverend Manning. Since the Reverend isn't fond of white people, you need me to get you in the door. You got it. You'll be compensated, of course. Okay. So when do you want to do it? Today, if possible. Can you get me in? Yeah. Yeah, the Reverend's a former client of mine. I can get you in. I'll call him. Hey. Are you guys sure you don't want anything to eat? No, thanks. I'll call him and we'll go. Where are you going? I'm going to Brooklyn for a while. I'm Kevin out with an investigation. <laughs> I'm reach out to a uh, nuts a Caucasian friendly community leader. I'll only be a few hours. Which community leader? Reverend Manning. The founder of the Step Back Movement? Mm-hmm. What could you possibly want to talk to him about? Come on, baby. Can't say. Mom, can I have the last piece of your birthday cake? For breakfast? It's all I feel like eating. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. No school today? She wasn't feeling well. 
So what college did she end up choosing? The John Jay School of Criminal Justice. Yeah, she plans on being a private investigator like old man, believe it or not. Good for her. <laughs> I'll be right out. I think it's great that Pamela wants to follow Mason's footsteps. But he was heartbroken when they were estranged. Be careful today. Don't worry, Terry. Everything will be fine. I worry every time he leaves this house. Yeah. Mason Rivers. This is my friend and associate, Kevin Ramsey. We're here to see the Reverend Manning. You mean you're here to see the Reverend Manning? He has to wait outside. I've uh, spoken to the Reverend this morning and I told him that I was bringing Mr. Ramsey with me. He said he was okay. So you bought him, but he can't come in. Give the Reverend my regards. Wait. Reverend, Mr. Rivers. Damn, how long has it been since we last met? Seven years? What do you want? You heard what happened to Sarah Bandy? Who has it? Rumor has it it was payback for the Jaheed Jensen shooting. What do you think? I think people are angry. It's possible. What does Whitey over there think? <laughs> Whitey. What is this, the 70s? I think it's more than possible. So, what do you want from me? Have you heard anything? What if I have? A friend here has been hired to look into the Sarah Pandy's murder. And he's not trying to turn anyone over to the cops. I just want to get all the facts before the facts become common knowledge. Oh, I get it. So if it turns out that she's killed by the coke dealer to the stars, Someone like that, it can be covered up. Have you heard anything? Man, all I heard is what they said on the news. Same as you. You know, if it is a brother that killed her, it's not gonna do our people any good. Nothing involving Whitey. Do you care, Rivers? You're not exactly down with the cause, 100%. Not if you're hanging out with this guy. Will you let us know if you hear anything? If I hear anything, I'll look into it myself. How's that? Charles. Yes, Reverend. Show these gentlemen out.
truth. He doesn't know anything yet. So where do you go from here? Where Michaela Van hired me to go. What? Hope. Come in. Ramsey, what can I do for you? I need a background check on a few guys and driver's license photos. No problem. What's the first guy's name? First guy's Corey Sanford. Corey with an EY? Yeah, Sanford Common Spelling. Works as a bouncer at a place called Harry's on the West Side, and allegedly he's got a gun and a New York State carry permit. Anything else on him? No, that's it. It's been a while since you've required my expertise. You been on vacation or something? Nah, I just haven't needed you, pal. Oh, breaking my heart. Here we are. Corey Sanford, age 37, lives in Brooklyn, no criminal record. He does have a valid New York State carry permit for a 38 caliber handgun. Who's the next guy? Brandon Sims, nightclub owner. Runs a place called Excalibur in Midtown. S-I-M-M-S? -M -M yeah. That's all you got on him? That's all. Now, besides the usual info, I need to know if he's got a gun and a carry permit as well. Just the two guys? No, I've got a third, but I don't have a name yet. He's a cop. Now, can you hack into the NYPD database? Are you kidding? That was, like, the first database I broke into. Nice. There we go. <clears throat> Brandon Sims. Age 30, lives in Soho. Two arrests for misdemeanor assaults. Community service for both. There's no registered guns or permits. Can you print that as well, please? Thank you, Scotty. Thank you. I'll call you as soon as I get that intel on the cop. And can you do me a favor? Run a check on Michaela Vandy. See if there was any bad blood between the sisters. A favor? A payable favor. Vandy. You know where to find me. Thank you, Scotty. Oh, hey. When you say goodbye to my mom, tell her I'm starving. Sure thing. Even though I came up empty with Reverend Manning, I was still convinced that Sarah was targeted because she was a cop. Huh? I checked out the people Michaela paid me to check out. Brandon Sims around. Furniture's being delivered tomorrow at 10, Jack. That's AM. All this has to be out of here by then. I'll take care of it. Hey, there's a private investigator here to see you. Things about the Sarah Vandy thing. I checked his ID, it seems legit. You told him I'm here? <clears throat> I told him I would check to see if you were here. Or tell him you couldn't find me? Yes. No, wait. Hold on a second. Send him in. <laughs> probably just a reporter. Yeah, probably. But I wouldn't put it past that bitch Michaela to hire a private investigator 
point the finger at me. Send him in. I'll take care of it. Brandon Sims. And you are? Kevin Ramsey. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Sarah Vandy. You willing to talk? Sure, I'll answer your questions. First, I have to confirm that you really are a PI. Anyone can have a convincing fake ID. I ought to know. Been in a nightclub business since I left high school. Seen thousands of fake ones. Who hired you? Can't tell you that. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. That's okay. I know who it was. Excuse me? Michaela? It's Brandon. Who? Brandon Sims. Sarah gave me your number. Look, I, I know you never really cared for me. I just wanna, wanted to call and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. Sarah was a great kid. Oh, no, 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 that was not them. No, I, I was just upset that the cops were raiding the bar, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. It's not okay. Well, look, there, there is another reason I was calling. There's a guy here in my bar. Okay. His name is Kevin Ramsey. He says he's a private investigator. He wants to ask me some questions about Sarah. He isn't by uh, any chance working for you, is he? Yes, Brandon. Yes, he is working for me. I thought so. Yeah, can you just answer his question? Yeah, no. I, I, it's it's all good. I, I totally understand. Hell, I don't blame can you. Can I just talk to Kevin, please, while he's there? Yeah? Okay. All right. Again, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. This is Ramsey. Can you come to my house tonight? Honey? Sure thing. I'll see you then. So what is it you want to ask me? Where were you Monday night, 10 to 11? Same place I am every Monday night. Here, Jack can testify to that. Yeah, do you own a gun? No, I do not. And even if I did, I wouldn't have killed Sarah. Now, Michaela said that you blamed Sarah for the raid that shut this place down. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Sarah swore that you were going to get back at her. It's like I told Michaela. I was just upset. I didn't mean it. If there's anyone to blame for the cops raiding this bar, it's me. I blame myself. I should have ran a tighter ship. But even if I did blame Sarah, I would have to be insane to kill a cop, especially one that slept with the chief of patrol's son. Say what? Wow, Michaela didn't tell you. She told me that Sarah had slept with one of the recruits in her academy company, but didn't know which one. Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, well, that was James Loomis. You know, Chief Loomis' son. And I got that straight from Sarah the last time I spoke to her on the phone, trying to patch things up. Two days later, she sicks him on me. Has him come in here, threatening to arrest me, flashing his fucking badge. So what did you do? I laughed. His fucking face. I told him I don't give a fuck about him or his badge. If he didn't get out of my club, I'd kick his ass. Really? Really. Then what? Pussy took off. One week later, I get raided. You know, he's the one that you should investigate. Yeah? Why? Because there is no way on God's green earth that Sarah was faithful. 
she just wasn't that kind of girl. And you know how hard pussies take it when that woman cheats on him. And besides, he owns the gun. Hmm. So, am I clear as a suspect? We'll see. Cops question you yet? Not yet. They will. Like I said, I don't give a shit. Scott, it's Ramsey. Cop's name is James Loomis. He's a rookie fresh out of the academy. Now his father is Chief of Patrol John Loomis. Email me whatever you can find, all right? Thanks. <clears throat> Goodbye, Mr. Ramsey. Corey. Corey Sanford. Who's asking? I'm a private investigator. Mind if I ask you a couple questions? About what? About where you were Monday night between 10 and 11. Would this have anything to do with Sarah Vaney's killing? Someone thinks I'm the shooter? Maybe. Michaela, right? Someone. Of course it's her. Who else could it be? She thinks I shot Sarah? Did you? Hell no. I like Sarah. She was spoiled, self-centered, and a little bit on the wild side, but she was basically a good person. And you weren't pissed that she sent you pack in after she joined the police department. Sure was, but that's not enough to kill her. So where were you that night? I was right here. If you don't believe me, ask the manager or the bartender. Hmm. Did you have your gun with you? My gun's always with me. Why not? I have a carry permit. Hmm. When the cops get around to questioning you, they're going to confiscate it, run tests on it. You know that, right? They can do whatever they want to do with it. I didn't kill her. Thanks for your time. Wait. Tell Michaela if she needs help handling the reporters or the paparazzi, I'm available. Doors open. Come in. Hi. Hey. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. Why did Brandon have to say it for himself? He denied having anything to do with Sarah's murder. He also said he was at the club at the time of the shooting, and he's got a witness. Who? Some guy named Jack that works for him. Brandon's loaded. He could have paid him the lie. Maybe, but I doubt it. Why? Anyone he pays to lie for him will automatically suspect him. Maybe enough to blackmail him, or worse, go to the cops. Brandon comes across as a little too slick to set himself up that way. Maybe. What about Corey Sanford? Do you have any uh, chance to talk to him? I did. He also has two witnesses that place him elsewhere at the time of the shooting. So where does that leave us? With every obsessed Sarah Vandy fan and cop hater in the city. And the cop she slept with. Well, any progress identifying him? Yeah, Sims gave him up. Name is James Loomis. He is the son 
of the NYPD's current chief of patrol, John Lomas. <laughs> That's just great. Apparently your sister asked him to have a talk with Sims, one of those stay away from my girl or else talks. It sounds like something Sarah would do. You have any way of getting in touch with that cop? A friend of mine's a hacker. He's got his ways. But look, considering who this cop's father is, my questioning him could have some serious consequences. Don't worry about it. Okay then, uh, that's all I got for now. I'll let you know how things shake out with Loomis. Can you uh, stay a while? Make yourself comfortable. Make sure you don't want a drink. I'll have one. What would be? Scotch if you got it. Oh. So when's the funeral? Monday. It's gonna be one of those big inspector's funerals. I would have preferred a private family only service, but I know Sarah would have wanted the big send off. She's entitled to it. She got killed in the line of duty. I know. Sarah always wanted her death to be big news. Even as a kid, she used to tell me, I don't care if it's a gross death as long as it's quick and makes the headline. Well, she got a wish. She sure did. How about you? Were you always into fame as much as she was? <sighs> Hell no. I don't even like acting that much. I only did it because she did. I know it may sound strange, but because Sarah's younger than me, but Sarah was my idol. She was always so much more confident and outgoing than I was. I couldn't help but look up to her. And I knew if she got into acting and I didn't, we wouldn't spend much time together, so. Is your family coming in town for the funeral? Oh, yeah. They're coming. That sounds you're thrilled about that. I got a lot of issues with my family. Everyone's got family issues. Not everyone. Take it from me. Everyone. I... I really shouldn't keep you here like this. I don't mind. No, I... Um... I feel better. <laughs> you... You should go. And I need some air. Lock me out? Yes. Yeah. 
forget your coat. Stay down. Come on. Come on. You bastard, huh? You son of a bitch. What do you have that I don't have, huh? You know what you have? The right to remain silent. I suggest you use it. And he gave you no indication that he was obsessed with you. No, never. Carlos has been here since I moved into the building. I've never seen him violent. <laughs> I've never even seen him angry before. Where was he the night your sister was killed? He was here in the lobby working. You sure about that? I stayed up that night. I, I saw him. Oh. <sighs> I told you to butt out of this investigation, Ramsey. He's here because of me. I hired him to investigate Sarah's murder. You what? You hired me. Christ, what the hell for? I have my reasons. Is it because you don't trust the department to find your sister's killer? You think that we would fail one of our own? No, I trust the department. And I still want Ramsey to conduct his own investigation. And if that's what I want, you shouldn't object. No, of course not. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Let me know if there's anything you need. I will. Thank you, officer. That was impressive. Share sure, it? Yeah, I'm fine. You? <laughs> I don't know. What do you say we take that walk? No, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go up. <laughs> How far is your car? Two blocks. There's probably a whole army of reporters out there. You want me to get a cop to support you? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm sure you will be. Thank you for this. You got it. Good night. Good night. Coming up on the 11 o'clock news, a high-profile private investigator believed to be working for Mikaela Vandy is attacked by her doorman. <laughs> I profile my ass, Jesus. Hey, Nina, everything okay? I heard about you on the news. What were you doing at Michaela Vandy's apartment building? Investigate a personal matter. She hired you? Yeah. What kind of personal matter? I can't answer that. You know the deal. Does it have anything to do with her sister? Christ, Nina, you know I can't tell you anything. Why did her doorman attack you? Because apparently he's obsessed with Michaela. And I guess he thought I slept with her. Why the hell would he think that? Because I went to her apartment. And because he's nuts. Please don't go nuts on me, too. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Listen, was Katie watching the news with you? No. Okay, do me a favor. Don't say anything to her about this. She's going to find out from her classmates anyway. Yeah, well, if she finds out from her classmates, she finds out from her classmates. But for now, let's not say anything. Okay. Thank you. Listen, I'll call you tomorrow with all the gory details, but right now I just want to get some rest. All right. Good night. Good night.
Thanks. So the morning after my fight with um, Carlos, the doorman at Michaela's building, I went to the 63rd precinct and I questioned John Loomis's kid, James. I stopped him as he was getting into his car. Officer Loomis. Yeah. Kevin Ramsey, I'm a private investigator. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I got questions. nothing to say to you. Come on, let me ask you a few questions about Sarah Vandy. I said I got nothing to say to you. Brandon Sims said you slept with her and that you went to his club and threatened him. Brandon Sims is a lying sack of shit. Yeah? Which count? The sex or the threats? I told you, no comment. All right. I'll talk to your father, see what he has to say on the matter. Wait! Okay, yeah, I screwed her. Back when we were both recruits. So what, there's no rule against recruits hooking up. Were you still hooked up when she was killed? No, we'd split by then. Amicably, no hard feelings. Where were you on the night? On a beat, walking patrol, same as her. Only in Manhattan instead of Brooklyn. You don't believe me? Ask my sergeant. Since you don't want me to talk to your father, do I assume correctly he didn't know about your relationship? I don't know. He'd go ballistic if he found out. My dad was dead set against Sarah joining the force. Were you the only cop she was sleeping with? As far as I know. But I wouldn't be surprised if I wasn't. Everybody at the academy wanted her, okay? Even the instructors. How do you know? They said so. Well, I mean, the recruits did, but the instructors couldn't. From what I heard, one of the instructors made a play at her, he got shot down. Which one? I don't know. Just overheard two of the female instructors talking. They didn't say names. OK, thanks for your time. Can you be seen talking to me? Oh, come on, Kevin. Of course I'm not ashamed to be seen talking to you. All my time on the job, I talk to whoever I want. People know what I stand for. Besides, who's going to fault me for talking to my late partner's son? I can think of a lot of people. A lot of cops, anyway. What can I do for you? Your son still works at the academy, right? Close that door, would you? Do you know if he's heard any talk about one of the instructors coming on a Sarah Vandy? Uh, why do you want to know? I can't say. Uh -huh. But has he heard anything? Okay. Short answer? No. But uh, the general consensus was that uh, all the instructors of the academy wanted some of that. All the recruits, too, for that matter. Any of the instructors around for me to talk to? If they're willing. Nope. Look, the academy's between classes. You know that, so... They've all been temporarily reassigned. Do you mind if I take this? Oh, no, no, go ahead. Hey. Can you come over again tonight? My family's gonna be here, and, uh... I need another buffer besides Lucy. Sure, what time? Seven. I'll be there. Matt, thank you for your time. As always, a pleasure. Uh, Kevin, I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help to you. You know, it's really too bad that you left the force. I mean, I, I, know, I know you were, God knows you were taking a lot of heat, but you would have made a great detective. Just like your old man. Maybe. I'll see you around. Take care of yourself. Yeah. See you around. Um, 
That night, I met Michaela Vandy's family. The Waltons, they were not. Come in. Mr. Ramsey. Miss Garretson. Come in. Pour yourself a drink. Make yourself at home mingle. Michaela will be right with you. Hey. Hey. Thank you for coming. Thanks for the invite. <laughs> Are you okay? Hmm? You look a little worn out. Worn out? You mean wasted? Yeah, I mean wasted. Mm. Don't worry about me. Come on. Let me introduce you to the family. Mom, Dad, this is Kevin Ramsey, P.I. That's P.I. as in private investigator. Ramsey, this is my dad, Frank, and my mom, Constance. Mr. Van. Mrs. Vandy, I am so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Your daughter was a very special person. Yes, she was. I've heard a lot about you. You're that cop that spoke against domestic violence in the police department. The one that testified against his partner. Ex-cop, but yes, that's me. Well, you certainly said what needed to be said. Mm -hmm. How is it that you know, Marco? I've hired Mr. Ramsey to investigate Sarah's murder. You what? What for? The homicide detectives are investigating her murder. Of course they are. <laughs> That's why I need Ramsey. Because I want to know all the facts before they do. Why? Why do you think? I don't know. You told me. Jesus Christ, Dad. You know how she was. If she had anything to hide, I want some time to hide it. But she was finished with all the nonsense. We'll see. You know, it was uh, Dad here who first had the big vision. Big vision? Sarah was destined to be a star. He was a driving force for her career. And mine, of course. I was, and look how things turned out for you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, and this is my brother Tom. Tom wasn't included in the big vision, even though he was the oldest. That's not true. I gave him a shot. What's with you, Michael? Uh, was no talent and not cute enough. Oh. That was that was the general consensus. Yeah. The opinion of the acting, singing, dancing coaches. It's not my fault. They said you didn't have it. You didn't have to agree with them so quickly, though. Hmm. They're just upset, honey. Do they think I'm not? Honey. Why don't you slow down with the drinking? Mm. That might not be such a bad idea. Nonsense. What better way to honor my sister? I don't suppose you've heard from any of our co-stars, have you? As a matter of fact, we did. Lois Madison called. Mm. She said she and the twins can't make it to the funeral. Kate and Lynn are shooting a pilot. Mm. She sent her condolences. Mm. Wow. Kit and Lynn were the kid actors who played the twins on Family Jewels. Sarah helped make them star it, and they can't even make it to her funeral. That's not fair, Michael. They can't miss a big opportunity like that. You know the business. Oh, I know the business, all right. They were all very fond of Sarah. Mm -hmm. In fact, Lynn would like to play her in the movie. Movie? What movie? Of course, there's going to be a movie about Sarah eventually. And I think Lynn would be very good in the part. <laughs> oh! What's with your sister? Maybe she had someone else in mind for the role. Michaela, mm. why don't you lay down? Tomorrow's going to be a long day for you. Yes, uh. hey. Why don't you? Maybe I will. All right, you can go. Go now. Go on. Go. Get out! Go, go, go out. Now you, you, I want I want to talk to you. I, I want to talk to Mr. Ramsey, will you see? You can go. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. Go, go. So, 
He tagged that cop in. I did. He said he was walking a beat that night, only in a different borough, and his sergeant will confirm it. He did admit to sleeping with her, though. He also said he heard a rumor that one of the instructors at the academy had come on to Sarah, and she gave him the brush off. So I went and talked to my dad's old partner, whose son works at the academy. He'd heard the same rumor, but couldn't or wouldn't give me a name. What about the instructors? Did you talk to any of them? Can't. No recruit class at the moment, so everyone's been reassigned. What about that cop, Loomis? Do you think he's going to go public about sleeping with Sarah? Hell no. He said his dad was dead set against her joining the force. He goes public, Big Chief Loomis probably disowns him. I, I guess that's it then. Do you mind if I ask you a personal question? No. Go ahead. Well, what you said about your brother not being included in the big vision. Mm. And the crack that he made about uh, not being cute enough or having enough talent. He comes across as a pretty bitter guy. Did he resent you and Sarah? No. Uh, maybe a little. How little? Um, at one point, I think it was Family Jewel's second season, he asked us to refuse to act on the show unless the producers gave him a part. We wanted to, but that would have killed us, so we said no. He didn't talk to us for a year. You're afraid of your dad. Kind of. Yeah, he's the sort of man who always has to have his way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Does your brother live here in the city? He lives in California. He's just sent for the funeral. Why? Just curious. No. 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 He was in California that night. And he would never do anything to hurt Sarah. Okay. Okay, it's getting late. I think. I think you better go. Hope I haven't offended you. No, I just, uh, I just want to go to bed. Lucy's right. I have a big day tomorrow. Will you be okay alone? I'll be fine. Do you want to be alone? Yes. You sure? So sorry. I'm not my sister. But you always wanted to be. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Then you don't know a goddamn thing about me. <laughs> Wakes tomorrow. I gotta go to the funeral home to talk to the director. How are you getting there? The police are sending someone to drive me. Hmm. Lucy's coming too. Would you mind if I stayed here until after you left? I don't think it's a good idea that we're seeing anything together. No. I don't mind. Hey, hey. Nothing. 
next morning, I find out from an anonymous source just how Sarah Vandy was able to join the NYPD despite her past. Why, Chief Loomis, fancy meeting you here. What the hell are you doing here? Don't you remember? Michaela Vandy hired me to investigate her sister's murder. What happened? Didn't the cops outside tell you I was here? No, they didn't. Oops. I guess it's traffic details for all of them from now on, huh, Chief? Christ. Since Miss Vandy didn't mention anything about you stopping by today, I can only assume you don't have her permission to be here. Which means you got a search warrant with you. I have a warrant. Good, let me see it. I'm not showing you shit. In other words, you don't have a warrant. Well, unlike you, sir, I do have her permission to be here. So anything you intend on doing, you'll be doing in front of me. And I will be reporting back to Miss Vandy. Beat it. Look, Ramsey, you used to be a cop. You used to be his right. Well, I'm asking you from one cop to another not to tell Miss Vandy that you caught me here today for her sake, not mine. For her sake. Sarah Vandy was bad news. And I'm not just talking about all that tabloid crap. I'm talking about criminality. It would hurt Michaela for her to find out how low her sister was. What kind of criminality? Blackmail. Blackmail? Who is she blackmailing? If I tell you, you promise me not to say anything to McKellar? Okay, I promise. Who was she blackmailing? Me. That's why I came here today, looking for the hard copies of the evidence she has against me. Evidence of what? Infidelity. Sarah Vandy had her heart set on joining the NYPD. But she was smart enough to know that none of the brass at One Police Plaza wanted her on the job. So she hired a private investigator to dig up dirt on one of us. Me. The guy tailed me, and he got videos of me and this girl I've been seeing. He must have also dug up my email address because one day I get this email from a so-called friend of Sarah saying that I better make sure she gets accepted into the academy. Two videos of me were attached to it. I knew Sarah was behind all of it. So the night that she was shot, the first thing I did was I made sure that Internal Affairs confiscated her laptop. I had a, a computer divisions guy, a friend of mine, hack into it. And into her cell phone, which was recovered at the crime scene, but he came up with nothing. So I figured maybe Sarah forwarded the goods to McKellar, sent them to her in a spare thumb drive or file card. Michaela would have told me if Sarah had done that. There's nothing here. Maybe the bastard Rivers has them. Who? Mason Rivers. It's the PI that Sarah hired to get the goods on me. How do you know it was him? From the check I did on her cell phone. Funny, I thought it might turn out to be you. But I guess Sarah wanted someone with no ties to law enforcement. Rivers was never a cop. Shit. <laughs> well? Well what? Well, aren't you gonna ask me where I was the moment Sarah was killed? Man, I know what that badge means to you. Get out of here. You're having a lot of fun on this one, Ramsey. Don't have too much fun. Me. <laughs> That's why I came here today, looking for the hard copies of the evidence she has against me. You want to tell me about it? There's nothing to tell. 
She hired me to do a job and I did it. Why wouldn't you tell me? Oh, come on. Are you really asking me that? I guess not. I just didn't know you did that kind of work. What kind of work? Digging for dirt. Job's a job. If I didn't do it, she would have just hired someone else to do it. So I've said yes. Well, Sarah inadvertently let Loomis know that she had videos of him and his mistress. Now he's been going crazy trying to get his hands on him. No luck so far. Any idea who's got him? I do. She thought the evidence would be safer with me. She was right. If I were you, I'd destroy him immediately. Trust me, that man is not above a legal search and seizure. He had to be crazy to do that. Now that you know about him and Sarah. Yeah, oh well. You think he might have done it? No, I don't. I wish I did. Believe me. But if he wanted Sarah killed, he would have had her killed before she was sworn in as a cop, not after. Badge is God to that man. He'd never kill a fellow cop, even one that was blackmailing him. Trust me, I know the type. Yeah, I guess you do. So you're gonna tell Michaela that Sarah was blackmailing him? Of course. Yeah, well, can you do me a favor? Leave me out of it. I don't need the aggravation. All right. Hey, what's up? Is she okay? Yeah, I'll get over there right away. Do you want me to stay with her until you get home from work? All right, whatever you say. Bye. Everything's okay? My kid just got into a fight at school. I gotta go get her. I'll talk to you. What happened? Didn't mom tell you? I want you to tell me. Those girls started talking about how she saw you on the news. She said that you're probably screwing Michaela Van D. I got mad and told her to shut the hell up. She told me to go fuck myself, so we got into a fight. That's it. It's not it. Now you're suspended for a week. Yep. And probably grounded for two. Why should I be grounded? She's the one who started it. You know how your mother feels about fighting. <laughs> so did he screw Michaela Vandy? That is none of your business, young lady. The girl you did it with? Was she prettier than mom? No, she was not prettier than your mother. It's not why I did it. Did you love her? No, of course not. Then why'd you do it? I don't know. How could you not know? You want to know? Yeah. Bottom line, you want to know the truth? It was lust. Lust has nothing to do with love. Sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with looks. It is just something that happens. Something that is hard to resist. Now look, I have said this before and I will say it again. I will say it as many times as you need to hear it. I am sorry, truly sorry. Do you want me to stay with you until your mom gets home? No, it's okay. You sure? Get your one day reprieve. We'll go to the jewelry store, get your bracelet fixed. I bet your mom will say yes. She gave you half those charms herself. Dad, don't worry about it. I'm fine. Okay, bye.
Okay. $200. There. Hey, wait a minute. Now I remember. He's that guy on the news. What guy? The private investigator who got into a fight with Michaela Vandy's doorman just the other night. I saw him on the news. They said he used to be a cop. Yo, you an ex-cop? So I don't like cops, that's what. Yeah, but you like money, right? Not yours. Let's go, Lorraine. Ah, come on. Yo, yo, Dave, listen, listen, hey. But bam twice as much. Let's go. That's right, pussy. Watch me make the headlines. Pimp waste ex-cop. Go ahead, hit me. <laughs> Pussy. Mason. What's up? I, I think it's time I joined Sex Addicts Anonymous. That's what's up. Oh, man, I've just, I've had enough. You free? No, no, no meetings. I can't, I, I can't see people. I just, can you come to my place? Yeah, tonight would be great. Eight, eight thirty-nine, whatever. Thank you, bro. I'll catch you then. So me and Nina split up. And Katie will not forgive me. My life is coming apart at the seams. And I have no guidepost. Because every time I think about you two, all I can think about is the yelling and the screaming and the fighting and the, the rage and the hitting. and the lies, and the denial. Mom, you forgive him everything. You defended him from everyone. Never once did you defend me. Never once did you defend me from him. with your father. And what did all that forgiveness get you? A lifetime of black eyes and fat lips and wearing shades and covering it all up. 
Because that's who he was. And that's who you were. What kind of guidepost is that for me? Your only friggin' son! And I am beyond low right now. So low that I'm here in a friggin' cemetery talking to the people I detest most in this world. You know what my only regret is? Not saying it to your faces when you were still alive. Oh, man. Can it get any worse? I don't think you'll ever see me again. Call Ramsey. Yeah. Where are you? Home. Everything okay? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> I talk to the wakes tomorrow, and everyone's at my place again. You know, my family. I bailed on them. I couldn't take it anymore. Can we meet somewhere? Sure. Where are you? In my car, driving around Brooklyn. You got GPS? Yeah. <laughs> come to my place. I'll text you the address. Um, I'm in the backyard, so just come down the driveway. Okay. Drive safe. Hey. Come on in. Sit down. Thanks for letting me come over. Oh, you must think I'm terrible. Not at all. It's the worst time to be with family. When they're all mourning someone, that's when they're the most unbearable. Yeah, but I should tough it out for them. Can I offer you anything? No, I'm good. Shit. What? I was supposed to meet with someone tonight. Let me make a quick call. Listen, I'm meeting with a client tonight. You don't have to come over. Are you sure? I just left the office. I'm positive. Everything's okay, don't worry. Everything's okay. That's why you called before and said you wanted to join, because everything's okay. I'm still joining up. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right. All right, fine. Bye. Did I come at a bad time? No, it's okay. You know what? I will have a drink. Candy wine? No. Beer? Beer it is. Beer it is. Thanks. Join me for another? I've had enough. Sir, so there's been a development that I think you should be aware of. What? Turns out your sister was blackmailing Chief of Patrol John Loomis. God. Maybe he's the one that did it. No. No? Who else had that kind of motive? He's too much of a cop to kill another cop. Not even to save his marriage? All he had to do to save his marriage was make sure she got hired, which apparently he did. You still think a cop hater did it? I do. 
Unless you could think of someone else she had issues with. No, there's no one else. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Well, then my investigation has come to a close. Unless you want me to figure out which cop hater did it, but I think we should leave that for the homicide detectives. No, it's... Okay. We've done enough. Thank you. You know they cried for her today. All of them. I knew my mom would eventually, but... I didn't think my dad would, or... I shouldn't have left them, I did. They are just... Unbearable. Hey, hey. Do not beat yourself up over this. I should not ask you, but do you want something a little stronger? No. No, 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 no. Why? Because you're my client. It's unethical. Nothing was unethical last night. Well, I do now. Fuck. I'm sorry. Look, the week's tomorrow. Why don't you go home and just get some rest? You wouldn't have rejected my sister. Fine. Send me your bill. Wait! Michaela! Hi. Bye. Michaela, wait! I said we couldn't meet tonight. Yeah, yeah, I know, but since I was in the area already, I figured I'd stop by anyway just to see how you were doing. Come back. Let's talk. What for? Just hear me out. Should I go? Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. You know what? No. Come back with us. What does he have to do with this? I'll explain in a minute. Come on. Well? Sit down. I don't want to sit down. Just say what you want to say. I am not rejecting you. I am rejecting my addiction. Your addiction? I am a sex addict. Oh, please. I have been since my teens. Before you came here today, I had been crying. Forget the details, but I have decided to join Sex Addicts Anonymous. This man right here is going to be my sponsor. I am not rejecting you. I would never reject you. But I have to reject this sick way that I have been living.
I'm so sorry. Hey, I care about you too. Christ, gee, hey, 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 just stay with me, kid. Stay, stay with me. No, 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 stay, 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 you're okay. Come on, Michaela, God damn it, kid, you gotta stay with me. Stay with me. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, Pamela, why? Why? How could you ask me that, you woman, mom, that you would never cheat on her again? She believed you. She actually believed you. But I did it. You did? You were at Sarah Vandy's apartment and I know because I saw you. I followed you. You taught me that, remember? Fucked her, and then you're trying to fuck your sister? Oh, Jesus. You're a liar! Pamela. You're an addict, you're disgusting! No, you're right, baby. You're right, no, no. You're right, baby, I'm wrong. I'm wrong, I'm sick, okay? Okay, I'm just. You're a liar, you don't I'm care. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sick, okay, but. but listen. I didn't want to listen. do any of this. I, have a I didn't want to do any of this. I have a problem. I'm mad, I'm mad. I'm mad enough to admit that, okay? Okay, but right now, right now is not the time to talk about it. Okay? Because we got cops rolling up in here in any second now. And trust me, they don't want to see us with guns in our hands. And they don't want to see you standing up, okay? So here, you're going to follow what I do, baby. Come on now. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Come on. Come on, baby. Get your hands up. 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 I had wanted to go with Michaela to the hospital. But the duty captain insisted I come here first to give my statement. He wouldn't cut me any slack. The detectives need your statement. You're gonna to have to come to the station house. When Department Toe gets here to take the impounded car, we're done. What's that? Hey, just curious. Hey, get out of the way! Again, so she's gonna be mad. Get lost. I need to talk to our daughter. You have nothing to say to her or to me. Talk to Michaela Vandy if you want to talk to somebody. Oh. I'm not leaving until I talk to her. About what? Mom, just let me talk to him. Okay. 
Go ahead. Talk. In private. Mom, I will tell you everything about it later, okay? Katie? Mom, just let me talk to him. Do you know a girl by the name of Pamela Rivers? Why do you ask? Do you know her? Yeah. Why? Because she shot Michaela Vandy tonight. And the police found your charm bracelet in her car. Now, what was she doing with your bracelet? I left it in her car. When were you in her car? How do you even know her? I've only met her twice myself. I've never introduced you. We met at the Step Back Movement. After the Jaheed Jensen shooting, all the kids at school turned on me for having an ex-cop dad. It doesn't matter that all the cops hate you. You used to be one yourself, and I'm your kid, so they turn on me. Nothing I said helped, so I decided to join an anti-cop group. I figured they'd have to accept me again if I did something like that, or at least lay off of me. When I Googled Step Back, I found Pamela's profile. It said that her father, Mason, was a private investigator who helped lawyers investigate police brutality claims. That had to be your friend's daughter. So I emailed her, and we started texting and meeting at the mall. She told me that her father was screwing Sarah Vandy. And you see, when I told her you were unfaithful too, she said we should drive around the precinct where Sarah works and ambush her one night. I mean, it started off as a joke, but you see, the more time her dad spent with Sarah, the more it sounded like a great idea. Pamela knew someone from the movement who could get her a gun, so we decided to do it. What? We knew where she worked and, well, you can read it in the newspapers. So we drove around one night until we saw her. I thought I told you to beat it. And what? I ducked when Pamela fired in case Sarah managed to shoot back. I guess that's when the class while my bracelet came loose. I didn't even realize it was gone until I got home. Pamela and I were supposed to meet tonight to get it back, but mom wouldn't let me go out. I guess when Pamela saw her dad with you and Michaela, she freaked. <laughs> Did Pamela tell the cops about me? Is that why they told you about the bracelet? Oh. I... Uh, I don't know. I just... I saw it in an evidence bag. Well, is there any way you could get it back for me? Without anyone knowing? You have no idea what you did. Look at me. 
you realize what this means? Fine. Now remember, Katie is a minor, which means she can only be questioned in the juvenile room with her mother present and her lawyer. Pamela wasn't wrong about me and Sally. After I finished the job for her, she got what she wanted from Loomis. I kind of fell into this thing. I should have told you that I fell off the wagon. I never saw this coming. Neither did I. But I should have got on the wagon. We did what we wanted. We destroyed our kids in the process. I see that so clearly now. Because that's what we are. Destroyers. Addicts. Problem is, we don't destroy ourselves. We destroy everyone we love and everything we touch. This just in, Ion New York News has been informed by police sources that two underage girls are in custody for the murder of New York City police officer Sarah Bandy. Both will be charged with first degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder, since Sarah Bandy was an on-duty law enforcement officer at the time she was killed. Both girls will be tried as adults due to the gravity of the crime. We'll have more information on this story as soon as it becomes available. For Ion New York News, I'm Della Sims.